did you guys hear the um, new Suge Knight interview he did with Michael? I believe it's Franzi. Apologize if I'm not saying your name right or his name right. But yeah, you guys should check it out. You know, so far, since this has been busted wide open since last year, people have been saying the same thing. You know, so yeah, they've been saying the same thing. I'll be back. Welcome back. Thank you for your time and attention today. And um, let's just jump into this. As I said earlier, uh, well, in a, initially in the video, I said that I had a chance to check out some of the interview, the recent interview Shig has done. And to me, I've heard a few of his interviews, but this one, it seemed like he he released a little. He should more light on the dark things that occurred in this industry called Hollywood music industry. And, um, yeah, he, he did. And, and he actually says something, I wouldn't say he was saying it in defense of Puffy, but he basically was saying what I keep saying, what I keep reiterating. He didn't do this alone. Diddy did not do this alone. There's no way in the world you can commit the kind of crimes he has committed allegedly and not have some serious people behind you that are able to pull strings to keep your ass out of trouble. Some people can't even jaywalk without getting a ticket. This man allegedly was doing all kind of things and did not get caught because they were doing the same thing he was doing. So check out what... um. Shook said. And on top of that, right? Any ID started Interscope with TST. Mm -hmm. When they started Interscope, they were about to go bankrupt in two weeks. I told them when I stayed their company, and I'm going to give you the highest company in the world, there for a record, which I did. They claimed they loved two cotton, but at the same time, Doug Morris is Jimmy Boss, who's running Universal. He gave Puffy a deal, did big money, but it flopped. They lost money. Jimmy Alvin, under the same umbrella, gave him another big deal, big deal before they recouped the money. You don't recoup what you lost already, they're going to give you more money. Mm -hmm. They did. One, they understand the other stuff they're doing. You know, you know, it's not about me telling all people, trust me, but you know as well as I know. All these people use cocaine. All these people use drugs. Yeah. All these people mess with underage boys and girls. So, it's like them, like, even though I don't know you, and if you came to the yard I'm on, I'm going to send you a pair of and give my guy the keys. I'm going to say, he's a solid guy. He, you know, even though we're from different states, different race, but he's solid. He's going to look out for him. Like, we'll look out for each other who's solid. They're going to look out each other for the real, the weirdo stuff. And you know it's weirdo stuff. Now, what he's about to say next, pay attention to it. I want you to pay attention to everything he's been he's saying, but pay really, really close attention to what he's about to say next. It reminds me of when Kim Porter said this. As I nodded yes, he pulled me in to hug me. Thank you, baby. We are going to have a beautiful baby. He ordered me some food that night. I cried myself to sleep. I was going to be gang bang at nine months pregnant. I was going to be gang bang at nine months pregnant. Okay, now that I refresh your memory about what Kim said took place with her, well, allegedly or truthfully took place with her while she was pregnant, listen to what Suge says how these men that partied with Puffy, allegedly, how they treated these underage pregnant girls. Check this out. Because they involved with pregnant young girls, trying to beat them up, and giving puppy money to Interscope or Universal, 
for hush money. Yeah. Who would do that? Nobody in the business. But when you look at all those type of things, the biggest victim of all this, believe it or not, he might be a weirdo. And I'm not saying everything that alleged that he did is true, but a lot of stuff we all been known is true. But he the fall guy right now. Yeah, I can give Shug much props for that because it's not too many people. All the people that's reporting on what's going on with Diddy, you rarely hear people emphasize or point out that Diddy did not do this by himself. That Diddy wasn't just giving these FOs for himself. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it kind of either these people, content creators are being paid to to not keep um connecting them with diddy or i don't know maybe they're afraid to say it but yeah he didn't do this by himself now i've heard a lot of things about suge i'm not trying to take away anything this man allegedly did or is accused of doing i'm i don't know but all i know is um he and when Pac was alive he and Pac would do things for the community. They would um, have little dinners and stuff during the holidays for for the women. You know, they celebrated women. Well, my um, baby sister got invited to um, something they was given for um, the mothers and um, uh, like I think young pregnant ladies. And um, she said she had a great time and it was it was put together very well. So now listen to what he said about Diddy and Snoop and all. Diddy supposed celebrity friends who are who are so quiet you would think they lost their ability to talk. Check it out. It's not one celebrity that he hung with is speaking up for him. Snoop and Puffy was so close. Closer than close, closer than most. They would do things together and party together and do things that it was uncomfortable for two men to be that way. You heard what he said? He said Snoop and Puffy were close closer than close closer than most and him and snoop would often do things together that other men wouldn't feel comfortable doing with one another now we're snoop why snoop so quiet i mean snoop pride himself on being this old gangster double og and um why are you so quiet now why you ain't speaking up for your homie now I want to refresh your memory about something Adria English said in her interview. Check this out. The same girl, I'm telling you about that, the, the, the Jane Doe, the 11 and 14 year old, the same girl, he made strap Justin Bieber down and while and, and she had to strap him down while Diddy and two of his sons took turns and she had to sit there and watch and Justin Bieber was crying and begging to be let up and when she went to unloosen him, Diddy socked her in the face. Now listen to what should confirms took place or what Diddy allegedly did to usher and bieber and listen to how he said they had s with him he didn't say just diddy he said plural they so it was more than just diddy that abused that young man or young men check this out you know you think everybody knew what puppy did this is just a big question is this if not one person didn't know that puppy was with usher now, one person didn't know what the saddest thing in the world is what they did to Justin Bieber. They had sex with him. Now, I hate to say that. But I hate to say that because I really like Justin Bieber. I feel bad for Justin Bieber. And, it, and this is when that happened if Justin Bieber came from a wealthy family. Justin Bieber pretty much came from a poor family, but the young man was so talented and he could have been bigger than Michael Jackson. But the depression of the drugs and the stuff. He allowed these grown men to do to this little boy. It's unhealthy and it's fucked up. No grown men supposed to be getting high and doing drugs and drinking with a kid. All right, she dance ain't gonna say this. You want to go back and dance up? They took Justin Bieber and that's them. That's not only is a bad look, it's sad. Yeah. But the worst part about it is everybody said what was done to Usher, and they done to Justin Bieber. And the thing with Usher. I should spend the night in Prima Puppy being the same bed to do an album. They never did one song they put out at that time. On top of that, when I met Usher, I came on one time. I'm speaking to the guy because he got good songs. That's out of respect. Right, young black man. This dude rolled his eyes at me. And so there was somebody came over and I was say, Sug, you know, don't have one of your guys do nothing to him. He a good, he a good young man, but him and Puppy got a thing. He a thing. He said, he gave me a look like, you know, 
And I thought about it. And when he rolled his eyes at me, it wasn't like somebody homie I rolled it. It was like I beat up somebody, man. Like, I beat his, I, you know, he did like somebody throw your eyes. Like, you beat my boyfriend up. I don't know if I ain't sticking to you. Really? one of those, right? Yeah, for sure. And the crazy thing about it is, like, Leslie, his mother, and everybody else said the same thing. Well, it was wrong, but if we go and get Puffy in trouble behind that, I said, wouldn't be us. He'd be known as the guy who got molested by Puffy, and they didn't want that. They wanted the money. Now, there you go, right out of one of the horse's mouths. This man was there. He was there in the 90s when Pac was alive. He was there when, um, what's his name? Diddy first started. So, you know this man, you know, he knows things. And he's slowly but surely letting it out. And this man, at this point, he has nothing to lose. You know, this man is going to be in prison for a long time. So, it's like, you know, he didn't been there. He didn't done there. He didn't ran in them tough in them streets. And it's like, you know, why he got to make things up? And like he said, things have been said. It was the things that were said about Diddy for a long time. Some things you just knew was taking place with Diddy. So, like, a lot a lot of things have been said about Diddy since the 90s. You know, some things were rumors, and then some things we're learning was factual or is factual. So, as um, I believe this year is going to end with a bang, as I said before, and I think 25 is more, it's just more to come. And the um, interviewer asked Shook if he think that this is going to be a cover-up. And then he answered his own question. He was like, nah, I don't think it's going to be a cover-up because it's too much coming out. And then, like, you you just think of the span of time that Diddy was doing this. It had to have been some big people behind him, people with big positions and titles and authority behind him to cover this crap up for so long. And they need to start investigating these law enforcement, these police departments that... Um, buried these reports and complaints that people brought to them about what Diddy supposedly did to them or people with Diddy did to them. A lot of people need to be brought in for questioning. Okay, so thank you guys. Those who listened to the whole video, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for telling a friend about this channel. And thank you for checking the rest of the content on this channel out. Checking it out. Thank you. Have a good day. See you in the next video.